make a beautiful vase and we're gonna make two candle holders and y'all I'm doing something a little different I'm doing some iridescent colors I mean I saw this I said hey you know what I gotta go ahead and get this and do something with it but this little bling wrap and I don't think uh, this camera is doing it justice y'all it's so blingy and it's so pretty so I'm going to incorporate that into our glam DIY today oh and I ordered it from Amazon the link will be in the description box so y'all feel free I'm gonna use some of this iridescent glitter. I got this iridescent glitter from Walmart. And these iridescent um, picture frames. I'm gonna use five of these. Look at that iridescent, look at that shiny rainbow. Okay, we're gonna use some Elmer's glue, glue sticks, glue gun. We're gonna use these old flowers. I wish I had some pretty flowers, y'all, but we're gonna make do with what we have. I'm shopping my home. Like I said, that's what I've been doing lately, y'all. Trying to shop my home. I ordered a few things from Amazon here and there. We're gonna use our um, floral foam. And that's gonna be it. So y'all, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our picture frame. We're going to open it up. Take the backing out. We're going to take this piece off. And we are going to use our glitter and our glue to um, apply the glitter. Y'all, I'm out of glue, but I got the big thing of glue, so I gotta like refill this one. But I'll do that after I get through doing this project. Okay, so all we're gonna do is spread this out. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put our glitter on. Okay, so after this dries, y'all, then that's the will finish the rest of the project. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we let it um, semi-dry. Oh, it's not all the way dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and still uh, put it back in. So just put the glass over it, and then we're gonna slide it back into the uh, picture frame. I'm just securing the back. And this is how it should look when you're done. So I did five. Ain't that pretty, y'all? So the next thing we're gonna do is make this into a box. So all we're gonna do is take uh, our glue gun. Y'all, this thing hot. I got this glue gun from uh, Family Dollar. I broke my glue gun, my other glue gun. Look like I don't even want to push out. Oh. Might need to put another glue stick in there, huh? <clears throat> and there we go. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm kind of slow at times. Do not judge. So we're just gonna, uh, you know, put it as even and straight as we possibly can. Y'all know how I do. I am not the one to be measuring nothing. And yeah, I'm just not a precise person like this. So, like I said, don't judge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, is I am going to um, go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna close my big old mouth and let y'all <laughs> watch 
will I do? Okay, y'all, this is beautiful. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. So simple DIYs, just, I mean, just so simple and um, so beautiful. So we're gonna just go ahead and move on to our next DIY. Okay, so let's get into our second DIY. Uh, we're gonna use the same um, picture frames. I just used the white part, I just turned the paper inside of here I just turned it on the back side of, so it can show all white we're going to use our glue sticks glue gun we're going to use these mirrors that I purchased from um, Michaels and we're going to use these blocks I purchased from Dollar Tree so these are the blocks I just painted um, them with um, Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint these are the uh, wooden boxes that are Dollar Tree then we're going to use this um, <clears throat> this um, wrap again. It's so pretty, y'all. Uh, it's that shimmer. And we're going to use our iridescent glitter. We're going to use our iridescent gems. I'm just going to use a few of these. <clears throat> We're also going to use our iridescent, uh, these gems I purchased from uh, Amazon. And I actually thought that they were going to be bigger, but oh well, I'm going to use them. This I thrifted from a Goodwill. And um, this, uh, of course, we know where this came from, Dollar Tree. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into this DIY. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our block, one block, we're going to just sit it in the middle as much as we can. Now, I know I'm not going to um, measure anything, so don't get mad at me for that. So, what we're going to do is put on a little bit of our um, Elmer's glue. And I meant to fill this thing up. Um, yeah, we're going to put on some of this glue all the way around. We're going to try to get around this square. 
and there is an easy way, easier way to do it but it takes a little longer but I'm just gonna do this because it saves time okay so all I'm gonna do is pour some of the glitter uh, on the um, bottom Just a light amount, not too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the iridescent beads or um, well, gems on here. Maybe I should add a little more glitter to give it that glamness. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this up. We're gonna put it, this to the side. We didn't get it straight, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it to the side and let it dry, and we're gonna work on the counter. Now, we're gonna start off with this candle, and make sure that the sides that are falling out, make sure that those are glued uh, shut. So we're just gonna put a little glue on it just so it won't come open anymore. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, um, the um, block, place it down, let's see if we're going to get a good, okay, and then I want to make sure that all of these are right, okay. So what I'm going to do is take this um, and glue half of the box. Okay, so this is how it should look so far. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, mirrors and place them on each side of the box. Now I probably shouldn't have done this one. I tried to wait, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. We always do. And these right here, probably should have took these off, y'all. Take them off if you can, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to reuse this anyway. I should have taken all of this off. I'm just so unprepared. I'm tired.
Okay, Glam Fam, so this is how the um, candle holder is looking so far. Of course, I gotta clean it, but this is how it's looking so far, y'all. And I just, like I told you, I love the bling. It is so pretty. The iridescent color is just gorgeous, y'all. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our candle holder on top. And uh, if you want more secure hold, of course, you can use some uh, E6000 or something like that. I'm not, uh, I'm doing this because I'm just, you know, just demonstration purposes, basically. So I'm putting a light amount of glue on the uh, gems. And I'm just gonna go around and put these gems on the um, counter holder. Okay, so Glam Fam, this is how far we've gotten. I think this is absolutely amazingly gorgeous, y'all. It's so pretty. And um, we uh, got our iridescent, um, you know, gems at the top that's surrounding the flower. It makes it look so beautiful. It's reflecting so much, so many different colors. I just love it, y'all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our um, uh, tea light candle and we're going to wrap the gems around the uh, the diamond wrap rather around the um, candle holder Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're just gonna sit it inside of there like that. Y'all, that is so gorgeous. I mean, I'm just in awe. <laughs> so, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, candle holder and we're gonna put it inside of that little picture frame that we got, y'all. So, here is the little picture frame that I made that actually, um, has the beads on it. So let's see. So this is how it looks. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the bottom. And we're gonna set the um, counter holder inside. Hoping that it fits. Oh God, it fits. Oh my God. Oh, that is so amazing. I am so in love with this. This is so pretty. Um, did our, did it go out? Oh. Well, yeah, it is going, it's a shortage in this thing. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna get another one and uh, put it in there and we're gonna show all of this on display. Okay, Glam Fam, so this is how the vase and the candle holders turned out. Y'all, the iridescent color is just so pretty, and this camera does not do
justice. I promise y'all it doesn't. I got to get a new camera because I just want all of this shimmer to just show. You know, all this glamnessness to show. So, y'all, y'all know what it is. If y'all like my channel, y'all like what I do on this channel, click that subscribe button and join this family. Y'all, this is so pretty. I think I'm keeping this. What y'all think? I like this. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more glam DIYs. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this.